What is up? It's your boy Gwenny here coming at y'all with another reaction video. And we finna hop into episode number six of Volume Made of Ruby. Before I do that, I wanna go ahead and say that 75% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. And if you're part of that 75%, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help us on the road to 500. Anyway, we finna hop to reaction. Let's get it. say i'm already a little scared going into this episode because uh the description for this episode just says it's time what the fuck's about to happen man and it sounds so nice when the world's that sound oh it's just more cinder backstory yeah. So, Cinder was poor, poor back in the day. Man, bullied by looks of it. I'll take her. Also, who took her in? Shit, we really about to get a whole origin backstory. I swear, y'all better not try to make me feel bad for her. Y'all better not. I swear, better not happen. You're to make sure the laundry is folded, the dishes are spotless, and the floors are clean enough to eat off of. Well, damn. Food. <laughs> I already don't like these people. I already don't like them. Now hurry and get to your chores. The floor looks filthy. It's fucked up. <laughs> I, no, y'all not gonna. No, I'm not gonna feel bad for her. Nope, not gonna feel bad for her. God damn it. And yeah, song too. Darn the socks, draw my bath, fetch my slippers, fill my glass, and rub my feet. Hurry up, you're so slow, you're no good. I hope you know that your life is of no use, and the truth is that no one's ever loved you. Fuck. Damn this show, man. <laughs> Actually making me feel bad for Cinder, man. You missed a spot. <laughs> Ooh. That's where she unlocked her semblance. Now that wasn't very late. Yeah, put a shot collar on her too? I suggest you remember Fuck. the place. Without you, I am nothing. Right, Why y'all making me feel bad for her, man? Someone took my damn sword. I apologize for the inconvenience. I, we'll help you look for him. She stole the sword. Now, I 
That's not yours, is it? I'm not here to hurt you. I've seen you around, and I think it's safe to say you're not getting the most fair treatment. Yeah? I can't really blame you for what you're thinking. You don't know what But I'm hurting them isn't going to make your life any better. You can run, but you're going to be running for the rest of your life. Or you can find another way to handle it. Like you? You can do whatever you want. Go wherever you want. <sighs> How old are you? Ten. <laughs> and you want to be like us. You want to be a huntress. And we've got about seven years. For what? To train you for the Huntsman exam. Yeah, so she was there for a long time. I mean, I guess he eventually ends up not coming back eventually. Is that what's going to happen? Look at that face, too. She does look crazy as shit. But yeah, I guess this serves to make, uh... Oh, shit. We get a fight scene? Hold up. The, the guitar started coming. I'm like, ah oh, shit. Oh, shit. I love this music too. Damn. Damn. And he just wanted to help her. Damn. But yeah, at least now we actually do fully understand why she's so fucked up now. You're awake. I was so worried. 
how are you feeling? You... You brought me back here. We failed. Cinder, you were hurt. I, I was just trying to help. I think she's had enough help. Besides, she went against our queen. I'd be careful who you back. Cinder's hunch was right. If we'd had support, then maybe we would have- Would you stop trying to protect her already? She doesn't care about you. Both of you, get out. I'll let you know when you're needed next. Yeah, about that. Salem's got other plans for me. I'm not gonna be taking orders from you anymore. She wants everyone on the bridge. Something big is about to happen. Ah, uh, fuck. Hmm. I'd like to express Damn. again that transition that this too. This is my burden to bear, not yours. His grudge is with me. No, it'll be even worse. He's holding back with me. I can tell. I understand. I do. But you've done so much already. The least I can do is give you a break and try to get us out of here. We can't leave yet. This is our chance. Hmm. Maybe you've taken one too many hits. Salem. She knows she can't take on the whole world at once. So she doesn't. She has her followers work their way in, sabotaging us from the inside out. Maybe, Maybe we, we should, should do, do the, the same. same. We certainly oh. are similar, you and I. Okay. Maybe we have been presented with an opportunity. All right. Oscar, please. <gasps> you don't need to fight this war, kid. Tell me what I need, and we can be done. Hello, Hazel. <laughs> All this time, it could have been you, but you let him suffer. Now, tell us how this damn lamp works. The boy has suffered enough. Why do you follow her? I know. I know how you see me. But her? Look at what she does. How is she the answer? Why not stop her? Ah, uh, so shit. Can't be stopped. She's a force of nature. I've seen it firsthand. But you, ah, you send fuck. children to their deaths for a cause that you know has no victory, no end. Someone has to try. Salem isn't a force of nature because Salem can be fought. Unless she brings the relics together. If that happens, Ozma. Ah, fuck. You have wonderful timing. The show is about to begin. Oh my god, what she's about what is she about to do? Shit, I'm scared, bro. I don't know what she about to do. We have good news. Tyrion has heard from our dear colleague, Watts. <laughs> Although he remains in captivity, it seems that he has worked with Ironwood to gain some control over the puppet masquerading as the Winter Maiden. I suppose he remains useful after all. Speaking of which... Uh-oh. Cinder. <laughs> you chose to disobey my specific instructions. Just fail again. Fuck. I realized it's all my fault. You fought your whole life unwaveringly for what you want, and here I am holding you back instead of lifting you up. Get in there. Man. You deserve so much more than I've given you. Go to Atlas. Recover Watts. He can lead you to the girl. Whether you or my hound get to her first, you will finally have the Winter Maiden's power. 
And I will have my staff. You'll only be helping her bring about the end for all of you! You're too late. Did the man. Not work? How do we even know what is she about to do, man? She appeared to be malfunctioning. This is why I don't trust technology. Now we're wasting our time searching for broken junk. Enough. You're Atlas Elite. Act like it. Um, uh, ma'am? We're picking up an open comms broadcast. Play it. It's headed straight for Mantle. I repeat, a large, massive grim is headed straight for Mantle. Please, anyone. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, it's the river of Grimm. Great. You guys. Did you hear our message? It's right there. We need to hurry. Where's Penny? Are you serious right now? There are people in danger. There are people in danger because you kids are acting selfish and... Ah, oh, fuck. What is this thing, man? Well, goddamn. It's time. Oh, that thing is actually a lot faster than I thought it was. What the fuck? It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> what? The fuck? Oh my god, it just keeps getting worse, man. But yeah, I think that was definitely the best episode of the volume so far, man. Especially opening up with the uh, backstory for Cinder and all the subtle details and symbolism that they had in there. And the, uh, the parallels between her situation back then and what's going on now. I feel like it was done really, really well. And uh, made, it definitely explained how, why she is the way she is now. But man, Salem, man. You know, I was really wondering how that River of Grim, well, like, what that was going to do. And it really just shot up, spawned a whole bunch of Grim on Atlas and broke the shield. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, our characters really cannot catch a break. It quite literally just keeps getting worse. And at this point, I don't know what the fuck they can possibly do. I really don't know. Ozma, I said, I'm, I'm calling him Ozma now instead of Ozpin. But, uh, yeah, him and Oscar, like, they're gonna at least attempt to try to divide Salem's group. Which, they definitely need, he definitely needs to talk to Cinder, dude. To Cinder, because Cinder, for sure... There is no way, like, especially after seeing her backstory and what she did with that old, the other person. Yeah, she is definitely going to betray Salem eventually. Don't know when it's going to happen. And Ozma and Oscar definitely need to try talking to her in order to try to egg that on and get that to happen. But even if she does betray her, it's just like, what the fuck can she even do? What can she even do? I don't know. But anywho... If y'all enjoyed the reaction, please feel free to leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.